back to the statement here, which is in yellow. The table below shows. I didn't say the table. I didn't write the table below shows. I said uh, gives information on, or you may say gives uh, information about. And you pick the words you need and reformulate it. Just it's just like paraphrasing it. Okay, let's go on. After that, we start with the second paragraph. The second paragraph. In the second paragraph and the other paragraphs, we have many options. We usually compare. In the figures, we compare. But here to compare, the market shares, the market shares of sales, let's say, in 2006 and 2007, then we compare the company with the other companies here. This is what we usually do in the table if we have many companies okay uh, there is a very important point is that never write your opinion never write your opinion Be why because the first task is just interpreting the information given in the figure into words you write them okay let's start in both years HP was a clearly the market leader, settling 31.4% of all notebook computers in 2006, and slightly more, that means 34% in 2007. This is a greater market share than its two closest competitors, Dell and Acer, added together. What we did here is that we took the market leader, which is HP, we compared its sales in 2006 and its sales in 2007. Then we compared it after that uh, with the two competitors which are close, uh, close to it. Uh, we used words here. The most important thing is that we use words here like slightly, if you notice it in the second line. Why? Because this word gives a high band score slightly uh, sharp also if we have uh, a big gap here or if we have big difference and we use the clearly clearly is a medium word high, high band uh, I mean a medium band is called word we may use also obviously obviously is better to give you high band score okay let's go on the first paragraph I wrote about Dell increased its market share from 16.6% in 2006 to 20.2% in 2007. In contrast, Acer saw its share of the market decline slightly from 11.6% to 10.7%. The, the paragraph which follows the uh, second paragraph which was about HP. I mean the main one. I wrote about the competitors of the leader company. After that, after this paragraph, I will write about the other companies. The other companies listed each had a much smaller share of the market. Toshiba's share increased from 6.2% in 2006 to 7.3% in 2007, whereas Lenovo's decreased slightly from 6.6% to 6.2%. Fujitsu Siemens, why did I put the apostrophe after the S? Because the word ends in S and it's possessive. Fujitsu Siemens ship. If we have a possessive apostrophe here in a word that ends in S, we put it after the S. I cannot say Fujitsu Siemenses. We don't have this in English at all, and especially in the British English. Okay, let's go back. Fujitsu Siemens share more than halved from 2006 to 2007, from five. 4.8% of the market to only 2.3%. <clears throat> now we, we take 
Other notebook computer manufacturers accounted for 22.8% of the market in 2006, more than all the companies mentioned except HP. However, in 2007, the other companies only made 19.3% of notebook computer sales, less than both HP and Dell. In this paragraph, which is the last paragraph, what I did is that I gave a summary, a summary of the entire market sales in 2006 and 2007. This is a real important point that you do. Why? Because it will be just like the conclusion, but it's not conclusion. Be careful. The most important thing is that you should remember that uh, in the first task of the academic IELTS, we don't have introduction, just like saying in my opinion or you give reasons at all. Secondly, we summarize the information, we don't write conclusion, that's what happens at the end. Then, we never write our opinion or any other's opinion. We don't analyze, we just, sorry, we just analyze and interpret the information of the figure in two words. That's it. This is what you all do. Okay, now let's come to recommendations. Number one, never write an opinion. It's interpreting the information in the figure into written words. Number two, Numbers from, 10, from 0 to 10 are written in letters as words, while numbers from 11 and more are written as figures, that means as numbers, unless they occur of the beginning of a sentence. Number 3. Words like slightly, obviously, clearly, sharp, etc. increase your points. That means they give you high band score. Number four, task one is a figure or a diagram. If it is a figure, it's usually a comparison. Pay attention to this word usually. That means not always. 90%. 90% is a comparison. If it is a diagram, we will take this in other lectures. Thank you very much for watching this lecture. If you liked or got the benefit of this lecture, please just press subscribe. If you have any questions, write it in the comments. If you have any criticism, write it in the comments too. Thank you very much for watching. That was Mr. Haidel Kasih with you.